can I also ask you about a, a lesbian speed dating event which was accused of transphobia but after trans women turned up, including one case, somebody with a, um, shall we say, a, a very visible appendage. An appearing, <laughs> appearing, I'm trying to work out what I can say at 8.39 in the morning. <laughs> so, a, a, listen, a biological man thinking he is a woman, uh, pretending to be a woman, and has uh, been quite excited about it. Should we just leave it with that, everyone? Um, <laughs> um, I mean, it's laughable. And yeah, we're talking about, you know, young women exploring their sexuality, wanting to be somewhere that they feel safe and comfortable, and, and, and basically a man turning up saying, no, I'm a woman, I want to be treated as this. And when the organisers say, um, we, we don't want men at this, this is a women-only event, they're told they're bigots and transphobes. What do you make of that? Yes, absolutely appalling. And what really sort of grates about this story is that not one of the mainstream large LGBT organisations has stood by this woman because all of them now believe, apart from the LGBT alliance, 